obviously we're doing a lot of things virtually, which has been, we've always done virtual tours anyway, so we just stepped up the game on that. And that's the biggest difference. It's amazing how busy we are considering there's a virus and pandemic going on. The town, I mean, the whole country is doing really, really well. Um, the mortgage people tell me this is the busiest time they've ever had. I think that, you know, as Brian said, we're really busy. I mean, we're, we're fortunate, but we are doing a lot more as we're doing right now, Zoom, a lot of virtual um, Google Chat, Zoom, virtual meetings still, virtual tours, lot, a lot more video with a client. So, you know, we, st we meet with clients now, but we're still masked up, et cetera. So, you know, showing property. Um, but I think it's a lot more technology driven today. And I think you'll see some of these things will stick. You know, some of these things will stay this way. And then some of these things will go back to normal or, or more like they used to be. But there'll be a whole different way of doing things, to, you know, in general. We, we've got several phenomenal listings that we love and we actually enjoy doing it now more than we've ever enjoyed it because we have really beautiful properties in, in New Orleans. We have gorgeous architecture, really gorgeous interiors. Um, we've gotten several compounds recently that we absolutely love. And one of them went under contract immediately and uh, several people want to put in a backup offer. Uh, we also have another compound that we're competing for right now, which is one of the biggest compounds in the city. So we're very excited about that. Something I think that we do naturally, but you know, many people say to be authentic and to tell the truth and your clients will come to you again and again and again. And we've found that to be true. We've sold them their starter houses. We sold them their big house. We downsize with them. We sell them their grandchild's house. So, you know, if you're truthful with somebody and you really work hard, you know, they keep coming back and that's the best marketing you can have. I, I would have to um, agree with that. and honesty and integrity with all of your clients and always working um, first and foremost in the best interest of your client. Put them first, always. I mean, I love architecture, I love interiors. Um, I'm very people oriented. My first major was architecture, my second major was psychology and I sell houses, I love it. We do a lot of commercial properties too, uh, but majority is residential. And they say, if you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. And most of the time I love it. There's times I don't, but most of the time I do. And I think Leslie does too. She's got a master's in preservation, historic preservation. Right, from Tulane University. And um, you know, my love of our city, the architecture, um, the culture, but also, you know, it was actually in my family, um, great grandfather in real estate. And he was called the Baron of Barone Street. But really, I had started a long time ago when I first got out into real estate, um, a first time home buyers class in Martha Ann Samuels um, building. And just seeing the smiles on people's faces, families, husband and wives, or even just single um, and partners, buy their first home and be in a home that they love it just it you makes make, you feel good you make their dreams come you true do. you make and, their you know, dreams come true and that's yeah. what we're here for yeah it's fun it's there's a lot of details and a lot of balls in the air but overall it's fun um well i can answer i just finished the book washington's spies about the first spy ring in america it was a great book and actually what prompted me to watch that is because my husband and I sat down and binge watched the series Turn, which is Washington Spies, the Culper um, Ring. It was, it was fantastic. And so I've been reading more and more books about the spy rings you know, in America first started then.